question. What were you thinking, Pete Carroll? What's up, all you Quantumaniacs? I'm glad that the majority of you picked up on the, uh, or saw that it was an April Fool's joke. You watched the video all the way to the end. That was pretty funny. I watched it back a couple of times, and I think a lot of people agree that the quick question was the pretty funniest part of that video. And here's the thing. Uh, I went back on my word, and if you've followed the channel, you know that I said I wouldn't talk about TPS too much. But you guys like that stuff. And now I'm coming to you and telling you that we're going to do something that I've wanted to do for a minute. And that's in Ask Me Anything. Uh, you guys have followed me from TPS to over here. And there are a lot of TPS subscribers that haven't found me yet. So, you know, spread the word. Next Friday on Fan Friday, we'll do an Ask Me Anything about TPS only. It could be, I, I know you guys have seen the negative stuff, but I did have some good times there, and I feel like I made some good content over there too. So um, next Friday for Fan Friday, what we'll do is an ask me anything about my time at TPS. So drop, so drop the comments, the questions, anything that you have about my time at TPS, what videos you liked, what videos you hated. Um, I'll explain it, maybe post some clips from, uh, what I did uh, behind the scenes as far as changing the videos or editing the videos, um, post some outtakes, and give you guys more of an insight of like what my time was like there. I'll, I'll probably make this a longer video and work on it throughout the week, so you're looking at maybe 20 to 30 minutes as far as talking about what went on there and what kind of led to my uh, exit. Um, you can watch you know, the YTPS sucks video as well. Because there's a lot of, I guess, anger and frustration in, in that video. But now I'm at a place where, okay, it happened, whatever. I don't want to be boring about it. Like, I don't want you guys to get bored and, you know, say, all he, all he does is talk about TPS. Well, that was a good majority of my life the last three years. Actually, it was my entire life the last three years. So maybe I'm not over it completely but I'm in a better place than I was in October when I made the YTPS sucks video. So um, I'm giving you guys a chance to kind of question some of the decisions I made. And that's what Fan Friday is for, for you guys to hold me accountable and, you know, for me to be open with you guys and be able to converse with you and talk with you. So next Friday, Quality TV, my first ever Ask Me Anything about TPS. Tell your friends, tell TPS, tell their subscribers. We'll do it but I do want to talk about this yeah I think I earned that block and I never have been the one to celebrate getting blocked on social media but I know that I'm pissing them off and that's hilarious because they can't say anything about it or to me because they know that they messed up so until they grow some balls and, you know, decide that enough is enough, I probably will still antagonize them because that's who I am. I'm an antagonist. I, I like pushing people's buttons to see how they react sometimes. And it's not that I'm intentionally trying to do it, but it's like, hey, man, I'm going to bully you because you bullied me for all those years. So uh, I think I earned that block, and I'm pretty proud of it. So we'll talk about that more next week. But now to your questions. From last week, we got a bunch of uh, top five receivers list. So I'm going to go through a couple of these. Uh, CM Mike 4. I think that's Mike. I think, yeah, I think I know who that is. Rice, Moss, Harrison, Owens, and Johnson. I think that's Chad Johnson. I don't agree with that. Uh, Marvin Harrison. I think Marvin Harrison's top ten easily. But Rice, Moss, and Owens, if they're not in your top five, those should be three that are in your top five already. Rice, Megatron, Moss, Belitnikoff, and T.O. Belitnikoff. I, I understand his contribution to the game. Not top five. Rice, Megatron, Brown, Michael Thomas, and T.O.
I think that's that's probably a favorites list. I don't think that's a top five list. But McFrisco, um, we're gonna we're gonna talk. Rice, Hudson, Moss, Fitz, and Julio. I'm not I'm not budging on the Don Hudson. That's he doesn't belong in the top five. And 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 I looked at it and not even really the top ten. Like, did you? Uh, come on, man. I don't. It, Show me some – I'm going to go look at some Don Hudson highlights and, and see if I'm wrong. I don't really know. Could you guys – look, follow me on Twitter. We'll talk about it a little bit more. But I don't really think I'm wrong about the Don Hudson thing. Hudson, Rice, Fitzgerald, Moss, and Largent. I think that's in order, too. So Don Hudson, then Jerry Rice, then Larry Fitzgerald, then Randy Moss, then Steve Largent. I'm fine with Largent in the top ten. Nah, not a top five? I don't know. I don't think so. Then we got some love and appreciation here. Shout out to Skinny G, RJ Gary. D-Wagon41 says, can we fire Quinn and Patricia already? We'll see after this season. I think I. it depends. I think around game six, we'll see if they're staying for another year. Caleb Butcher, you a real one, homie. Shout out to Caleb Butcher. And then Max43 talking about some of the stuff that I was talking about comparing the 49ers season last year with them losing Jimmy G the year before to this rebound season. I think that hopefully that's the same trajectory that we're on. Um, we got to see how this team works together. Mike again going, the Lions going 6-10 and 10 based on your schedule. Bears ain't losing to them. Right, have fun with Mr. Trubisky and Nick Foles. Doesn't matter who they get or got. Same old Lions. St. Clair, Eric. I, I understand that tone completely. The same old Lions thing. It's, it's You can never dispute it. Make a 32 NFL free. No. Why? I don't think that you need my analysis on that when there's ESPN, there's uh, Fox Sports 1, I one thing that I can tell you from the TPS days, I hated the all 32 NFL teams best player on Sunday when they were uh, injured type of videos. So I don't I don't have the manpower to go through and research all that and have everything be correct. So I would rather not do that. Uh, I think there are plenty more sources out there that you can get your information from or a complete draft breakdown, and it would be a little more accurate than mine. That takes a lot of manpower to actually have that stuff sound accurate. That's why I hated doing them, because everything that we said in those every NFL player's best thing, they were kind of generic statements, and it's not a, an official breakdown of, you know, what they actually were. So I appreciate the uh, video suggestion. Maybe find somebody – that gets paid like millions of dollars to do that more so than me. When now mandate and to start the draft, people think it's handsy rookie cornerback without elite speed. Doesn't sound like a good plan to me. I think that coaches like handsy rookie cornerbacks. Now the elite speed thing, if you're a handsy rookie cornerback, you can get hands on people, you can slow them down. I think Okuda's really good. I think Funky Nuts really wants – I don't know. He's uh, – comment below, Funky Nuts. What do you, who do you want to draft? Because I, I see you pop up from time to time and, you know, you want to talk about the draft a lot and you don't like Okuda. So comment who you guys want the Lions to draft. Lions should go get Le'Veon Bell. I thought at the draft – or at the trade deadline last year they would try to. I think – I don't think they, they want to invest in a running back – that much, but I think that would be a really good move. Imagine a running – or Matt Stafford with a running game that, you know, you can depend on for all 16 games. So, remember, next week, Fan Friday, ask me anything about Total Pro Sports. I'll see you guys next week on Fan Friday.